Welcome back everyone. Well, football players like Lynn Swan and Steve McClendon have used ballet to help them take their game to the very next level. So ballet doesn't just work for your flexibility, agility and coordination. It is also extremely challenging, but we happen to know someone who is up for a challenge. So we sent Terry Holloman to Pacific Northwest Ballet. I'm here at McCall Hall, the home of the Pacific Northwest Ballet, and I've heard about lots of athletes trying ballet, ex-football <laughs> players like myself, but I've never done it. And I'm here with my guy, Colo Griffin. He's going to teach me how to do ballet today. Colo, thank you for joining us today. First and foremost, I want to know, how long have you been doing ballet? Well, I got an outreach scholarship when I was eight years old, so for over 30 years I've been doing ballet. I grew up in the Bay Area, that's where I got my scholarship. I was the first dancer to get into the company from that outreach program. I traveled all over New York, Chicago, and now I'm here with the Pacific Northwest Ballet, really enjoying teaching at our wonderful school. One of the things I always remember for me growing up about ballet, what I really liked was performing mm -hmm. in the Nutcracker. So okay. the McCall Hall, all our students get to get a chance to perform with the company, and it's a wonderful opportunity. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This is a big deal. So over the years of doing this, what do you think are some of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to ballet dancing? I think some people think ballet is just an art form. But they're athletes as well. Right. And I always call dancers performing athletes. So let's physically do the work and then we'll add all that grace and beauty on top of it. And one of our actually interns here at New Day Northwest is an ex member of the PNW. So come on, Keegan. <laughs> Keegan Hello. was part of this all, man. Can you tell us a little about your experience? How long were you here? Yeah, so I started with the Dance Chance program in 2008. Nice. And then I danced here for about 10 years, uh, dancing with PNB, doing Nutcracker, doing Cinderella all these amazing story ballets and all these ballets with PNB and then I danced at Ballet Austin for a bit in Texas awesome. and now I'm here at New Day Northwest we're gonna teach Terry Ballet I'm let's do it. Let's yes. do it so here's the thing I yeah. want everybody to just remember this when we go in here to do this thing I'm doing this with two professionals <laughs> so take that into consideration you'll, as, as Terry tries ballet you'll do great we have a live pianist. Amy's here for Amy's us. Amy's here. So in ballet, how we start is just as important. All right, and then we're gonna finish the same way with the music. We'll finish with our arms up and we'll bring them down. Okay. Okay, so these are little details of ballet that we teach the students from a very young age. Nuance. Like, Nuances, yes. absolutely. Discipline, lots of focus, yeah. Absolutely, here two we go. Things, two things I don't have, discipline and focus. <laughs> we're gonna try. We're gonna learn today. Here we go. Let's start with our arms down. Nice, here we go, ready, and up. And down. Start with plie. Good. Passe. Good. Put it down to fit. Good. Plie. Passe. Very good. And down to fit. Plie. Passe. Let's rise up. Good. Here we go. Try and balance here. Balance. One legged. Very good. Woo! And finish. And finish. Arms down. And stretch. Oh, oh, I gotta put it back down. Put Sorry. it back down. Okay, Other way. Plie. Pas de shot. Oh, I'll take it. Try it again. Am I supposed to be stretched out like this? Absolutely. Okay. Plie. Pas de shot. There you go. Stretch. <laughs> <laughs> and plie. Pas de shot. And stretch. Finish. Hold it. Good. <laughs> Good. My, my fifth position is more like three and a quarter. <laughs> well, but I'm working on it. I'm, I'm going to get there. I got to get the flexion of the Actually, hip. we call that third position. Which is that is right? Position, yeah. That, we that's just don't totally use it too position. much. Yeah. Oh, because it's novice. <laughs> 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 All right. Shall we go to our center? Yeah, let's, yeah, do, let's do it. Now we can do we did it at the bar. Okay. Our pas de shah step. Yes. All right. Yes. So we're going to start from our tendu position. Our arms are going to be out. We're going to be ready. We're going to step down. We're going to passe, pas de chat. That's right, close fifth. And then we're going to do our other leg, tendu. And we're going to go the other way. Step, pas de chat, to fifth. All right, let's All right. give it a try. Here we go. How would you like the port de bras? Uh, port de bras, uh, we can come through first position. Okay. Or Keegan, if you'd like, you can go to a nice sure. high fifth position. Please. Keegan adding new levels of difficulty for me. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a clarifying Keegan. question. A clarifying okay. question. Okay, Keegan. <laughs> Showing off. Yeah, there, there we go. Okay. Here we go. Fifth position. We'll start with our left leg front. Okay. There you go. And. Tendu. 
And step, pas de chat. Very good. Tendu the other leg. Good. Ready? Step, pas de chat. And. Oh, I didn't uh, do that right. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's the Last time. And. Reach back. Whoa, 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 whoa. And pas de chat. Perfect. Take a bow. I'm sweating from laughing so hard. That was great. Thank you, Terry. Wow, next level.